is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how your project is not your baby. All right, so there's this phrase I've heard a few times in my software development career, which goes along the lines of that the project you're working on is your baby. Right? Like, hey, that project's your baby, or this project's my baby, I'm looking after it, all this kind of stuff. Which is kind of a weird thing, right? The time that bothered me the most when somebody said it to me was like the last time I had a permanent employee job, right? Which is almost two decades ago. But I was in this place and it was one of those kind of situations where like they didn't say they were gonna fire me, but they always kind of hinted it, like, you know, like, I don't know, the software market, they kept talking about how bad the software developer market was out there and how I didn't deserve a raise and all this kind of stuff. I'm not bitter about it, but it was just kind of one of these, you, you, you guys, you've all known, you've worked in different places, if you've worked in lots of different places, you know, some places are really, really good and some places are not so good. So, this is one of the latter. And so, at one point, like, one of the managing directors came over to me and it said something about, we were talking about moving servers or something like that. I can't remember what it was. But he says, Eric, this project's your baby. You must really be worried. And I was like, yeah. Like, I was just like, yeah, it's my baby. I'm just going to go along with this. Yeah, yeah, because, you, you know, just whatever. You know, let's just go with that. Yeah, it's my baby, right? But at the time, at the time, I thought it was a strange thing to say. Because a part of me felt like I should consider it my baby. Like, this is the thing that I built. This is the thing that I've, you know, been working on, like, for the last couple of years, right? This should be my baby. But, dude, I was a young dad. I had a real baby at home. That was my baby. This was my project that I was working on, right? And it's one of those weird things where if I consider, like... And I see this sometimes with software developers where they do consider the code to be their baby, right? They, they consider it to be like they, their, their precious work of art where they like it so much that they won't experiment with it or touch it or do whatever. Because like if, the, if the project was really my baby, I would be like super careful with it. Like I wouldn't do anything with it. And whereas the software developers, we're kind of always like thinking, hmm, how can I make this better? Or what if I just changed everything? Like what if I just rewrote the insides of everything? We're just always kind of like doing stuff or running experiments and stuff like that. One of the things with my own applications, again, with my own apps on the App Store where I don't have anybody else's say in the matter, I run experiments on this kind of stuff all the time. I think, oh, let's just change it, right? If it crashes, we'll just, we'll roll back, right? We'll just like, you know, let's, Let's, you know, let's go for the, let's swing for the fences and see what happens, right? It's, um, uh, and it's something that's really important to consider. Like as a software developer, especially as a software developer, you should have some level of detachment from the projects that you're working on, right? You are a technician that's going in there to work on them. And it's you, because if you're like really, really careful with it, you know, then you're going to, you know, not want to change anything. You're going to be like, I don't want to touch anything because then maybe it might fall apart or maybe I'll lose my keyword rankings or maybe whatever, something will change. Or on the other side of things, you'll be like, you won't let it go. Like you won't just let the project die because you're like, you know, you, you just love it so much and you just, you're not willing to let it go. And sometimes you, you put something out there and it doesn't do as well as you think it's going to be. And sometimes you don't, right? So, you know, the project is not your baby. And it was kind of one of these weird things where it keeps coming up. Do you know what? If somebody said to me, like if one of my, uh, if one of my clients said to me now, you know, well, this project's your baby. I'd probably still go along with it. I'd probably still say, yeah, yes, it's my baby. But like, let me just tell you, software developer, software developer, the project's not your baby, right? When you, work, when you go into a client site and you're working on something, like if you're a contractor, one of the nice things is, is that you can just go in and look at everything objectively without any emotion in it. I mean, that's what we do as software developers. We're looking at things from a logical, technical point of view, right? And have no emotion in it, right? This is just something I was thinking about, something, you know, I don't know if you guys have ever heard this before or if you've ever thought this, but it's something that just really, really kind of bothered me um, for a long time. And it comes up again and again, you know, hey, this is your baby, you know, stuff like that. So let me know if you guys have ever had anything like that. I just thought I'd share with, with you guys today. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a great week and um, I'll talk to you again next time.